Finally, the time has come. One tried and in. Second tried and in. And well, we got ourselves a good one. What's up, everybody? Mr. OG Games here, and welcome back to the fourth episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Sorry for a little bit of a break since the last time that we did uh, episode three because, well, real life happened, vacations happened, work has been outstandingly crazy, and uh, now I'm finally back to it. So let's take a look here real quick just to bring you back to speed where we were at. I have since the last uh, episode made a storage building. Uh, we're we're going to move all of our storage over to this here building. And you can see that I've, I've basically just started. Um, it's not quite the way I want it yet because as we'll go around here, um, and also while we go around here, I'm going to do a lot of terraforming in this area. I've outlined a little tiny house uh, that we're going to be building in the future and here is on top of the warehouse you can see that it's still very flat uh, I'm going to put something here maybe let me know in the comments what you think you'd like to see there uh, and then working over this way just I've got a lot more terraforming that I need to do and uh, it will be coming very soon I'm going to get into some more fishing and stuff to try to get some uh Try to get some items that I wouldn't necessarily be able to craft, if you know what I mean. Maybe line that up with some barrels, fix up the tunnel a little bit here. I eventually want to do a bridge over to the next part of land that separates us. And that's going to come in the near future. Now, I wanted to show you guys, I, my son stopped by uh, the old OG nation area there and we decided to go on a little exploration he wanted to check out the lands and what do we have here yep that's right we have an embattlement and i thought to myself well do we take it on do we decide to take it on and you know i got some kind of mixed emotions about that because there's there's a lot of things that we could get in trouble with here uh, real quick and uh, we decided just to kind of take a little peer from kind of far away and I don't know if you guys can see it real well I'll uh, I'll zoom in here for you uh, but we saw plenty of men manning this little here station and uh, I wasn't I having any parts of that I wasn't even I didn't even have my bow on me or nothing so we're gonna put that one for another day but I wanted to continue through this desert and uh, see what we could find on the other side. Like I had told you in previous videos, I haven't done as much exploring as I would like to. Uh, so got some cactus, uh, continued on, and in the distance, I saw our second village. Now, this village was, was a little different than other villages I've seen you can see all the water just from our first walk up to it uh, but the village was was pretty much empty uh, yes there were villagers but that that's about it they had a little bit of crops a little bit of sugarcane um, not a whole lot of stuff in chest or anything um, I do see some trades we can come back and get with our rotten flesh some gold that we're not using and uh, I think we can build up a couple of these guys to give us what we need. Uh, but this village looks like it has been overrun with water. I mean, there's water everywhere. It's, I don't, you don't usually see this very often. So I wanted to show you guys. They've built a little path here through it. And um, just, just taking a look around, it, it, it's just weirdly laid out but cool at the same time. I mean, there's so much water everywhere. I couldn't... I couldn't believe really that they were even able to function um, oh, yep another empty house uh, but if you look around there is just so much water uh, hello man on a tree uh, water is just everywhere it is everywhere and even to get in some of these houses it was just difficult 
uh, but we'll definitely be coming back to do some trades uh, with some iron and some coal we can get that guy leveled up uh, all in all the town did have uh, a good little feel to it it had some promises for some good trading in the future now before we left here I wanted to uh, get me some beetroot not that I really use it all the time but it was more so for aesthetic something to put around the uh, the base and uh, even grab some melon seeds as well uh, just to kind of decorate with it if you will uh, not necessarily something that we're going to be using a whole lot but I definitely wanted to get it while we were here and then my eye was to get back in that desert to kind of see where it could take us uh, in our little journey here in our tour uh, while I had my son on with me uh, so grabbed our last melon and uh, headed on and uh, didn't get long before it got dark and of course when it gets dark we weren't equipped for really any combat yes I was sorted and uh, you know had the sword available had the uh, armor on but I'm not risking that you know let's let's just continue on um, the edge of the desert here went on for quite some way in that direction as you can see back towards the village which looks like it went straight into a little bit of a jungle uh, so we decided to go back check out the jungle and see what the jungle had to offer um, you know in jungles you can get lots of bamboo and uh, of course there was lots of other things as well there was a lot of little caves as you just saw uh, but on the horizon we saw a little friend over there doing backflips and well I wanted to check it out I wanted to see how the pandas actually for one I've never seen one yet in this world and I've been to some you know when we went to the temple I saw plenty of bamboo but I did not see any of uh, our little friends there so the trees also around here were just crazy 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 big which I want to actually come back and do a little bit of a a little outpost I guess way up in the trees I think that would be pretty cool uh, to kind of have a little outpost here I know it's not too far away from my current base uh, setup but nonetheless when we come and visit our little friends doing backflips and stuff we can have a place to uh, sleep, lay our heads, and uh, store some stuff. But taking a look at these guys, I did not find one, but I found three or four. Uh, did a little feeding. Uh, matter of fact, we went over to his little friends along the way here. I did a little bit more uh, feeding, and I wanted to see if I could get them to breed me up a little baby panda. Uh, but I personally thought maybe you could lead them back with bamboo but that's just not the case it doesn't work that way for some reason so I think the only way for us to get one of these guys back to our base would be to kidnap him now we went back to bed and uh, just eyed out some trees here like I said the trees are massive I mean look how big that thing is natural massive tree I'd like to just leave it at it as is kind of create my own little thing around it oh an ocelot and uh, go up and see if I can't make something on top of it now we ran into a lot of ravines on the way back and uh, I knew another panda see that's four right there today that I've seen and I've not seen any yet but following that ravine and went around came to another village and well this village was the one that I had found in previous episode 3 so we had made a big circle and as you can see off in that direction uh, out across the water there where we're going now is actually the area the same route that I came in so I had somehow made a massive half circle around and uh, after some long hiking through we made it home look at the OG base she's so pretty lit up well at night too look at the moon coming up I just had to take this shot because it it just looks good anyway 
we put our beds down had another little sleep even though we were so close to home uh, we checked out a few more things in the morning and then decided to go ahead and head back down home and uh, that was our little bit of a trip all in all i think we were away from the away from the base for maybe 35 40 minutes maybe 50 minutes we did get carried away with the pandas a little bit and i showed him the uh the village that we had found in episode three but coming back home here uh pretty much it i took him showed him kind of what i had been doing and uh, yeah much more work to come uh at this point He's going to be playing with me a lot as well, so you'll see him in more videos also. But at this point, we basically said our goodbyes, and uh, it was time for me to craft something special. So I headed over to the crafting area, and uh, not my crafting, but my uh, enchanting tower here, because it was time. It was time to put the two tridents that I had found in with each other and uh, make her whole. And as you can see, we finally have a trident. Now I'll put her back on the shelf until I find mending, but I've got some special things coming up for you guys as well to put on it. But as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming. And I'll see you in the next one.